teenage girl comes home from school and asks her mother, Is it true what Rita just told me? That babies come out of the same place where boys put their t Yes, dear, replies her mother, pleased that the subject has finally come up and she won't have to explain it to her daughter. But when a baby is actually born, responded the teenager, how does it get past your teeth? <laughs> Blonde and a brunette walk into a bar. As they sit down, the brunette notices a guy checking out the blonde. So the brunette decides to go and talk to this guy. She walks up to him and says, I see you've been checking out my friend. You know, the blonde sitting over there, she's pretty, isn't she? The guy responds, oh man, she's just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. The brunette says, well, for $50, I can arrange for you to smell her crotch. The guy says, well, yes, of course. He pulls out the money and hands it to her. She takes it and breathes in his face. <laughs> One day when the teacher walked to the blackboard, she noticed someone had written the word P in tiny letters. She turned around and scanned the class looking for the guilty face. Finding none, she quickly erased it and began her class. The next day she went into the room and she saw in large letters the word P again on the blackboard. Again she looked around in vain for the culprit, but found none, so she proceeded with the day's lesson. Every morning for about a week she went into the classroom and found the same disgusting word written on the board, and each day the word was larger than the day before. Finally, one day she walked in expecting to be greeted by the same word on the board, but instead found the words, the more you rub it, the bigger it gets. <laughs> when Ralph first noticed his p was growing longer and stayed erect longer, he was delighted, as was his wife. After several weeks, his penis had grown to 20 inches. Ralph became quite concerned as he was having problems dressing and even walking. So he and his wife went to see a prominent urologist. After an initial examination, the doctor explained to the couple that, though rare, Ralph's condition could be fixed through corrective surgery. How long will Ralph be on crutches? The wife asked anxiously. Crutches? Why would he need crutches? Responded the doctor. Well, said Ralph's wife coldly, you are going to lengthen his legs, aren't you? <laughs> In a mental institution, a nurse walks into a room and sees a patient acting like he's driving a car. The nurse asks him, Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie replies, driving to Chicago. The nurse wishes him a good trip and leaves the room. The next day the nurse enters Charlie's room, just as he stops driving his imaginary car and asks, well, Charlie, how you doing? Charlie says, I just got into Chicago. Great, replies the nurse. The nurse leaves Charlie's room and goes across the hall into Bob's room and finds Bob sitting on his bed furiously masturbating. Shocked, she asks, Bob, what are you doing? Bob says, I'm doing Charlie's wife while he's in Chicago. <laughs> a man picks up a hooker and takes her back to his room. She strips off all her clothes and all he does is stare at her. What, honey? Is this the first cat you've seen since you crawled out of one? No, it's just the first one I've seen big enough to crawl back into. <laughs> a woman walks into a tattoo parlor and tells the artist that she wants a tattoo of Santa Claus on her inner right thigh and a Thanksgiving turkey on her inner left thigh. The artist says, ma'am, that's kind of strange. Might I ask why you want those particular tattoos there? Well, she says, my husband's always been that there's nothing good in the house to eat. 
between Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I thought I would fix that. <laughs> a priest was getting ready to hear confessions one day when he got a terrible attack of diarrhea. So he asked the altar boy to take over for him. But I don't know how to hear confessions, said the altar boy. It's easy, said the priest. You've seen me do it many times, nobody will know the difference. So the altar boy was in the confession booth when a man came in and sat down on the other side. Father, I don't know what to do, the man said. Last night my wife and I were in bed, she was sleeping and I rolled her over and did her in the ass. I feel bad about it, but I don't know how to make it up to her. That's easy, said the altar boy. Just give her milk and cookies like the priest gives me. <laughs> Girl named Mary is in line to go to heaven and while she's at the pearly gates talking to Saint Peter, she hears a drill and then a scream. She asks, what's that? Saint Peter replies, oh that's just an angel getting her halo fitted. The woman thinks about it and then starts to talk to him again. Then she hears another scream and asks, what's that? Saint Peter smiles and says, that's just an angel getting her wings fitted. She says, f this, I'm going to hell. Saint Peter says, but they r you and so is you there. She just smiles and says, at least I have the holes for that. <laughs> And came home from work sporting two black eyes. What happened to you? asked his wife. I'll never understand women, he replied. I was riding up an escalator behind this pretty young girl and I noticed that her skirt was stuck in the crack of her ass. So I pulled it out and she turned around and punched me in the eye. Uh, I can certainly appreciate that, said the wife. But how did you get the second black eye? Well, I figured she liked it that way, said the husband. So I pushed it back in. <laughs> a young couple had been married for a couple of weeks, but the man was always asking his wife to quit smoking. One afternoon, she lit up after some lovemaking and he said, you really should quit. She, getting tired of his nagging, said, I really enjoy a good cigarette after s He replied, but they stunt your growth. She asked if he ever smoked, and he replied that he never had. Smiling and lifting her gaze to his groin, she said, so what's your excuse? <laughs> Man was in a terrible car accident, and his manhood was mangled and torn from his body. His doctors assured him that modern medicine could give him back his manhood, but that his insurance wouldn't cover the surgery, since it was considered cosmetics. The doctor said the cost would be $3,500 for small, $6,500 for medium, $14,000 for large. The man was sure he would want a medium or large, but the doctor urged him to talk it over with his wife before he made any decision. The man called his wife on the phone and explained their options. The doctor came back into the room and found the man looking dejected. Well, what have the two of you decided? Asked the doctor. The man answered, she'd rather have a new kitchen. <laughs> <laughs>